Hi, I'm Larry Becker, and this time we're focused on lens mounts. Focused is here because the first step in being a better photographer is understanding your camera. Modern digital cameras that have changeable lenses have specifically engineered connections or mounting systems so that lenses connect with cameras in a very precise way. Precise engineering is needed so that the light that your lens captures falls on your camera's image sensor exactly the way that it should. And with most modern cameras and lens combinations, there are electronic contacts so that the lens and the camera can talk to each other. They talk about things like autofocus, aperture adjustments, so you can change settings in your camera and the lens knows what settings to use. Let me point out that I'm talking about changeable lens digital still cameras. This lens mount discussion doesn't really apply to a camera with a permanent lens like point and shoot cameras or cell phone cameras. You know, there are lens mount systems specific to cinematography, scientific imaging, industrial imaging, CCTV, and medical systems. You are going to cover those, aren't you? No, not this time, but thanks for asking. Just digital still cameras. And even if we narrow our focus like that, there are literally dozens of those lens mounts. So we're just going to discuss some of the most common mount systems so that you have a frame of reference. If we don't mention your specific lens mount system, at least you'll know what kinds of things to look for when you're considering pairing up cameras and lenses. The first thing that surprises some new photographers is that there are often several lens mounts even from the same maker. Certain lenses won't work at all with alternate mounts from the same manufacturer, and some will. For example, my Canon 6D is a full frame camera with Canon's EF mount, and my 24 to 105 f4 lens is what's usually mounted on that body. My Canon 70D has an EFS mount, and I keep my 18 to 135 f3.5 to 5.6 on that. Now, if I want to use that 24 to 105 lens on my 70D, no problem. Canon lenses designed for full frame EF mount bodies can be used on EFS mount cameras but my 18 to 135 lens will not mount on my 6D. It's only designed for mounting on EFS mounts. Beyond those two most popular current Canon mount systems, Canon has a different, smaller mount system for their mirrorless cameras and lenses, and it's called the EFM mount. Modern Nikon DSLR mounts allow lenses designed for full-frame bodies to be used on APS-C sensor-equipped bodies, and vice versa. So the mount system won't keep you from putting a lens, say, designed for a crop sensor camera, into a full frame body. But the field of view you get will probably be vignetted or blacked out outside of the center image area. So if a lens is designed to gather light for a full frame sensor and you put it on a smaller sensor, that extra light that it gathers gets ignored. But lenses that only gather light for a small sensor area don't gather enough for a full frame sensor, and that's why there's vignetting. Then again, most current full frame Nikons understand the optical limitations of lenses that are built for smaller sensors, and they automatically crop the image inside the camera. And Nikon has a collection of mirrorless cameras called the Nikon One series, and the lenses and camera bodies use the Nikon One mount system. And there's something unique about Nikon lenses and some entry level DSLRs. There are some less expensive Nikon lenses that don't have an onboard focus motor, so they depend on a mechanical autofocus linkage from the camera body. Now, if your Nikon doesn't have the autofocus linkage and your lens doesn't have a motor, you have to focus manually. With the DSLR style Sony bodies, the mount system is the Sony Alpha mount based on the legacy Minolta mount. And Sony mirrorless cameras all use Sony E mounts. But you have to be careful here too, because there are some Sony mirrorless cameras with APS-C sensors and some with full frame sensors. If you want full frame coverage, you need to look for E-mount lenses with the Sony FE designation so you get a lens that gathers light for the full frame image area. So you can see that there are idiosyncrasies with each manufacturer. You know, you should probably point out that companies besides the camera makers themselves make lenses for various lens mount systems. Sigma and Tamron are just two of the better known companies that come out with lenses available with different mounts. So you could get a 150 to 600 millimeter zoom from either company with a Nikon or Canon mount. You want more examples? I got a million of them. Uh, no. But thanks, that Sigma and Tamron example is just what we needed. Now you might have heard of Four Thirds or Micro Four Thirds cameras. They all have the same sensor size, but the lens mount is a little tricky. The micro designation is for mirrorless cameras like the popular Olympus and Panasonic cameras. And they all use new lens mounts as compared to the old Four Thirds systems. But you can use some of those lenses on non four thirds cameras, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, for instance. And you can use older four third style lenses with micro four thirds bodies if you have the right adapter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get into adapters here. 
but adapters are awesome. You can use lenses from one manufacturer to another. You can make lenses have a longer focal length. You can make lenses bring in more light and change their aperture range. You can- Look, that's all true, but we've got to wrap up. What people really need to know if they're considering buying a camera is what lens mount system their camera has and what lenses are available with that mount. That wraps it up for this episode of Focused. Focused is made possible thanks to B&H Photo, Kelby One, and these nice people. If you have questions for Focus, leave them in the comments below. We really do read them all. And be sure to subscribe, because we don't want you to miss a single episode. We'll see you next time. So that lenses connect with cameras in a very precise way. There are electronic contacts so that the lens and the camera can talk to each other. Hey, how have you been? I haven't been able to focus lately. I think we should get back together. Yeah, when we're together, things just click.